Hi everyone, my name is Tony and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can record your screen using PowerPoint, which can come in handy when recording how-to videos like this. Now for my videos I tend to use Camtasia because it gives me more editing controls and allows me to draw those red boxes and zoom in, but if you're looking for something quick and easy to use then PowerPoint has everything that you need. And in today's video I'm going to show you how to record and I'm also going to be showing you some of the editing options such as trimming, cropping, adding thumbnails and how to export it as a video. Now before I jump into today's content, if you want to learn how to master these applications, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell will put you on the right track. Okay, are you ready? I know I am. Then let's go. Here I am in PowerPoint. I've just got one slide and that's fine, but it could be part of a bigger presentation. And then to start recording, to start capturing an application or my desktop, I just go to insert and then over here we've got screen recording. And up here at the top, we've got our, our screen recorder panel. And what I want to do first is select the area that I want to record. So it's already select an area from before. Let's reselect this. And you can select like a small portion if you wanted to, or you can do a bigger area. This is doing the whole screen. It doesn't really matter at this stage because you can always crop it later. And I've got two other options up here. I've got audio and recorder pointer. So do I want to include audio as part of this recording and do I want the mouse to be visible? So I'm going to keep those two selected just so you can see how that works. And then once I'm ready, I can then press record. That's the big countdown. So after the countdown, it's now recording and it's now picking up everything I'm saying and my mouse movements. Uh, so what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do is do a demo of my website. Yes, it's a shameless plug. But I had to get it in somehow. So this is my website for Ready Steady Excel and on this website you will find videos, my latest videos, my blogs which feature guides and tips. I also have a, a public speaking challenge there if you want to give that one a go. And something I've added recently which is Patreon. So this allows you to sign up and be a member of Ready Steady Excel and then get access to a load of amazing benefits. Okay, so once the recording's finished, that's enough plug-in for now. So once the recording's finished, if I hover the mouse pointer up towards the top, my little toolbar comes down, and then I just simply click stop. And this will pop the recording straight into my presentation. And just to show you, it's all working. If I press play, that will then start to play. So after the countdown, it's now recording. It's now picking up everything I'm saying. And there's a couple of edits that I can do. So let me show you. So up here at the top, we've got two tabs. We've got video format and playback. I'm going to go into the play tab first. We need to trim this video. So if you look at it, it's at the start of the desktop, which I don't want. So I'm going to go to trim. This allows me to drag the start in a bit. So where do I want it to start from? And you can also got the end slider here, which you can just drag in about there. And you can just play this back as well from here. So you can make sure that you're not cutting off any of the important audio. So that's that one. So that's it trimmed. When I click OK, and as you may notice there that you can't cut out bits in the middle. So that's one of the drawbacks of doing it in PowerPoint. In Camtasia, you can cut out the middle bits if needed. But you've got like the basic options there. So you can do what's called top and tail. So you can cut off the, the front and end of the recording. So if I click OK, I'm going to start when it's at the web page part of it, which is great. We're going to come back to this playback tab. So I'm going to, next I'm going to go to the video format. So another thing we can do is crop it. So I don't want to include the taskbar in my recording. So if I go to crop and then down here at the bottom, I can crop it. And I don't want to have that side scrolling bar either. So I'm going to crop that too. You can do other things like resizing it, which is pretty standard really. So I can resize that down. So if I want to see the, the heading, I can. Now another thing that you might want to do is you might want to have a front cover to this video or a thumbnail. And how you change that is up here. So where it says poster frame, I'm gonna go for image from file. Got three options here. I can either insert an image that I've saved. I can go online and do a search or I can pick out an icon. So for this example, I'm gonna go from file. So I'm gonna select this thumbnail here and that pops it in. So it gives you like a, a nicer front image to the video. 
Also in this tab, you can also change the styles. You can turn the video into a shape. You can put a border, you can put on video effects. But uh, I'm gonna move on to playback. Another handy sort of feature that you've got is adding bookmarks. So maybe when I got to the Patreon part of my demo, I want to put in a bookmark so people can easily just jump back to there if they wanted to. And then to add a bookmark, just click up here, add bookmark. So how this will work is when the video plays, then people can just jump to that point there. Unfortunately, you can't label these bookmarks, but at least it's something that allows people uh, to skip through. And remember, these bookmarks are only available in the PowerPoint. So when you go to export this presentation as a video, these bookmarks won't be available there. When this presentation is started, when the slideshow is shown, I want the video to go full screen and I want the video to play automatically. Now, if you wanted this video to be running on a loop, maybe you're using it in a presentation stand, uh, a seminar somewhere, then you could use this option here, which is called loop until stopped. But I'm gonna leave this one unticked. So let's play this presentation just to show how it works. My website. Yes, it's a shameless plug. I had to get it in somehow. Uh, the next thing to do is exporting it. So you can just run it as a slideshow and that would work great. But if you wanted to send this out to somebody just as the video, then you can do that. So if we go to file, you've got export, create video. You can choose the quality here. Okay, I'm ready to create the video. I'll just choose the location where I'm gonna save it. And then down here at the bottom, you've got the progress bar. So what it's doing now, it's rendering this file. So this can take a few minutes, depending on the size of the video. So that's now rendered, so let's have a look. So here's my exported video here, so let's play it. My website. Yes, it's a shameless plug. I had to get... Let's get rid of the sound, so there we go. Full screen, and as you can see there, it was playing automatically. And there's no sign of it coming from PowerPoint, which I think is brilliant. Now, if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, then check out these videos here, and I will see you in the next video.